You don't have to be a professional editor to create effects like this. I'll show you in just a few steps how easy it is with Camtasia. If you don't have the latest version of Camtasia, there's a link for a free trial in the description. Let's start with our footage. If you've captured your own content, awesome. Import it into the media bin and get started. But for me, I'm gonna click over to the Online Assets tab and use this Kayaker footage. From the Annotations tab, on the track above your footage, add some text. And make sure you stretch the text out to be the same duration as your footage. Choose the font and add any style changes you might want. For my title, I'm using two words, Adventure Club. Obviously, there's a lot more letters in Adventure than in Club, so after duplicating my text layer, I'll change the second one with some size and positioning adjustments. One tip to balance them well is that I like to open the canvas rulers, command Control r and drag out some rulers for horizontal and vertical centering, for example. This helps even more if you have snapping turned on. Once I've got them the way I like them, I'm going to group the layers. Do that with Command or Control g so they're on one track. Also, I've made my groups default to being the size of the canvas, but if you don't have that set, you'll want to right-click the group and choose Resize Group to Canvas Size. From the Visual Effects bin, add the Media Mat effect to the group that contains our title. This is where it starts to get interesting. It automatically inverts what you can see, so instead of the white text blocking the video behind it, you're now only seeing the video through the text layer. If you want to learn more about media mats and the modes that you can apply like alpha and alpha invert or luminosity, there's a link to our tutorial page that explains them all individually in the description below. For now, it defaults to the alpha mode and that's what I want, so I'm gonna leave it. Next, I'll right click track one and select insert track below to give us a new track one, which is where I'll add my dynamic background, which again, I'm gonna find from the asset tab. You can click see all to pick your favorite, but I know I want this blue gradient, so I'll add it to track one, and again, trim it so it's the same duration. The blue doesn't exactly match what I'm doing here, so let's add some cohesion by using the color picker to choose colors from our video footage. That blends a little more naturally. Make sure you watch the footage when it plays back because one color might overpower more than the others, and you may wanna mess with that a little bit. To make your footage zoom through the title, it's two simple custom animations that I drag and drop onto the group containing my title. The first is a slow movement. I just want to give it a little bit of life, maybe 10% change. Start at 90% scale, and then at the end of the arrow, change it to 100%. And I'll drag this out so it's a little longer too. The second animation is quicker, but it does a lot more. From 100%, I'm going to scale it up to about 1500% which you'll have to type in because it stops sliding at 500. <laughs> Position the title so that when it ends, we're looking through one of the letters. Finally, let's add a little more realism. From the Visual Effects tab, grab the Motion Blur effect and add it to the group. Now, honestly, Adventure Club is done. I think the title looks great, it's effective, it does what I want. But that's not all. We can do so much more with Media Mats. In fact, let me show you one more example. I'm going to start a brand new project and add a song. Again, I'm pulling from the assets, but you can use whatever one you like that isn't copyrighted. I like the clap and stomp track that we have here, and it's a good one with lots of expressive beats. Next, add your text. I'll just have this example say music. I'm going back into the assets, and I'll grab an audio visualizer. Two, in fact. I like this fluid audio ring as a backdrop. It gives a nice central focus to the video. Then I'll add the audio blobs, great name, visualizer, as what I want my words to bleed through. And adjust until I have it where I like it. Now go ahead and just add the media mat to the text track. Oh man, I like it immediately. Small adjustments might be needed here or there, like as you find out how far out the beats make the audio visualizer show up on the canvas. But look how good it looks already. Play it back a few times to make any other adjustments. I hope this is something you feel like you can use in future projects, whether as the intro to your training presentations or the beginning of your YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching.